In this particular unboxing, we're going to take a look at Noctua's NHL12S, which is one of Noctua's more recent coolers. It's a revamped NH NHL series from Noctua, which is their low-profile CPU coolers, which is a C-type CPU cooler. And th even though this is not the NHU12A, which is the new new cooler, which I really wanted to take a look at, but I really don't need it right now. This is why I've got the NHL12S, which I'm going to try cramming into my mini ITX PC. And it'll look somewhat unique by the end of it, I think. Anyways, let's get on to the unboxing and take a look at the box itself. Here we can see that the NHL12S sports Noctua's typical uh, brown, white and black uh, packaging. It's really quite simple, no frills approach, which always also shows that it's a Noctua product because that's basically their whole philosophy. No frills just for performance and well function basically. So it says it's based on the award winning NHL12, which is their previous uh, L series low profile cooler. But this time it's got an NFA 12 X15 slim 120mm fan instead of a 120mm NF, uh, F12 and uh, NFA9 in the previous one. So this is an upgraded version, it's using their new slim fan, which is supposed to perform the same as the outgoing NF F12. Well it's not outgoing, it's still being sold, but this is supposed to perform the same while being 10mm uh, less thick. Uh, anyways, it's an uh, L-type low profile cooler, it's a C-type cooler, really, because the heat lights make a C. Uh, and it's got all these uh, features, I guess, on the side. Uh, it's all great and all, but... Uh, Let's see at the specs of it. The fan is 1850 RPM, which is actually decently high for a Noctua standard brown fan. So it should perform pretty well, not just being quiet, which is you know a given for any Noctua products. But let's take a look inside of Noctua's typical excellence in packaging. So right away, you get greeted by the accessories box, which is always, always so nice to see being so well packaged and it uses Noctua's SecuFirm 2 mounting system which is again a really nice mounting system for coolers might I say one of the best <laughs> out of everything I've ever used really because even on AMD platforms they have these bracket style uh, clamping mounts for the coolers instead of most manufacturers cheaping out and relying on AMD's uh, socket clamps that are included with the motherboard because those things suck and it's really annoying to use that on AMD CPUs when you got a cooler that uses that. So it's nice that Noctua uses their own clamps and brackets for even the AMD CPUs. And there's really nothing to show except that it's all super solid and really nicely built. Even for the mounting mechanisms, you can see how shiny they are. It's all metal. So you also get the uh, Noctua uh, performance parts. <laughs> Basically silencing fan adapter, a Noctua badge which adds 10 FPS. And also the Noctua thermal case, which you get in a box, which is the NTH1. But they do have the NTH2, which I plan on testing on sometime soon too, which is which should be an improvement over the NTH1. But anyways, the, the you know the mounting system, as good as it is, it's really kind of boring. So let's just skip that and go straight to the cooler, because for the mounting, you really are supported by every mount socket out there. It's supporting it. It's got the AM4 uh, LJ1150. 2011, 2066, etc. Basically everything. So for the packaging itself, uh, it's always really nice from Noctua. Really nice to package with cardboard all around. No, not much of plastic. So it's really eco-friendly too, I guess. And it's really well packaged. So it's really gonna be hard to damage this thing in shipping. Anyways, let's open up and look at the cooler itself. You see, this is precision packaging. It's being cut uh, precisely for these uh, screw holes and these screws that's protruding so that it keeps the cooler in place and one thing that intrigues me also is that the clearance between the fan and the bolts and the screws itself is perfectly the exact thickness as this piece of cardboard it's those little things that makes me think that Nacho really over engineers everything but that's not a bad thing isn't it because as you can see the product itself is quite impressive it's uh, yeah, you can't you can you can immediately tell it's a really high quality built product The plastic on a fan is super tough unlike most cheap fans You can't even really bend the blades much even though it's super thin and it's got this reinforced up on the Noctua NFA 12 x 15 fan. This is their new slim fan. This is supposed to perform pretty good 
and it also reduces the overall height of the cooler because of the use of this thinner fan. Now for the heatsink itself, it's also uh, a relatively um, sparse thin array, I think, but that's probably because they're planning to make this a super quiet cooler, just like every other Noctua product. And so they didn't want to use a really high RPM fan to push through a really dense fin stack. So they should work really well even with low RPM fans or you know with this one turned down. So for the base, you got four heat pipes coming into the base, which is super polished, and it looks to be a convex, uh, yeah, convex base, which is great for CPU cooler mounting pressures. And this should mount seriously firm with the Optua Secure Firm Mounting System, which you're supposed to screw through these holes at the top after removing the fan first, obviously. But I think you can actually do it without removing the fan because you can poke through the fan blades, really. Uh, and you don't really need to access the metal bolt. So yeah, you could just do that. And yeah, I can't wait to test it out on my uh, system, on my Mini ITX PC, and show you guys the results and what my PC looks like. But for the first look of this thing, it's looking really promising and it's super, super shiny and looks really nice and high-end. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this unboxing. If you do like this video, please leave a like. And if you don't, please leave a dislike. I don't really care that way too. And also please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.